Hey everybody, I'm making this video because I was in a recent conversation with somebody, or with two people actually, but we can't, started coming through these topics and we started having this conversation and one of them is much older and has like a job and works, and one's more my age and goes to like school. And I was coming across, and we're going through all these topics, and we started getting to like jobs. And as the older person, I'm going to call this person Larry. As Larry was talking, you know, he's like, yeah, I got bills to pay. Sometimes I got to go to work even if I don't even want to. And, and I stopped Larry there. And I said, why don't you want to go to work? Because if you're unhappy with what you do, why are you going there in the first place? And he says, yeah, bro, no, but I got bills to pay. I got family to feed. And I got all this other things. And I'm like, I know that you do. I know I get that. But why are you still going to a work that you do not enjoy? Like, there's other ways to get around that. There are ways where you can still make money and still try to be successful even when you're out of work. And we kept going, we kept talking, and this is, this is where I'm going to leave this video, where I have some points on like why it's kind of bad, not to, because he always kept saying that he's kind of unhappy with it, and you don't make much out of it anyway. And my first point with this is that these mindsets is what I had to deal with there in the conversation, because then we started to go through like this little argument. Where I tried to like come back with many things that you could do otherwise. And mindset. This is going to be my first point where they think that going to work can just make you money. Like that's the only way to make money. If you go to work and you keep working and working, that's the more money you'll get. But that's not the only way that you can make money. There are many other ways. We're just never really taught or given to in school. That's one. So my next point is, how would this shape our community? These ones kind of intertwine a bit. Now, this shapes our community in a way where we really, really just go for jobs. And you can see this kind of like on the news, how like tons of people have go to college, they get degrees, and then they try to go find a job, but they can't get one because there's so many people like going to college and getting those jobs, which is leaving a lot of other people like plumbers, um, mechanics. There's not much of them anymore. Now their pay is starting to go higher. And this will probably shape our community in a, I'd say, much more negative way because my belief, you don't have to believe this, but I don't think school really ever helped me with anything. And I've been trying to learn stuff on my own. And this is going to like shape the community in a way where it's going to be very negative to a lot of people. Especially how we were never taught how to learn money in other ways and other things. So then we can be happy with what we do and not just what we have to go and force to do. Like, I want to be happy with my job. I want to be happy. And who says I even want a job? The chances of me getting a job now are very slim for now what I know. But jobs, every single time, I was surprised from what I found in jobs and how jobs work when I first kind of figured it out. How there's a hierarchy, how unhappy people are, and many stories that I've heard of how miserable jobs can be. Like, Oh, it's just so freaking, to me, it's like irritating. Because like, I want people to be happy and I want them to be great and love life. But when we're unhappy at every single thing that we do, and I don't say everything, but at our jobs, and that we're going to work there almost the rest of our life, that's going to leave you unfulfilled. That All those dreams, those passions are going to wither away. And before I shut this off or before I try to do anything and stop this recording, I first want to give you some advice and some things to help you of what came with me that I went through and that I'm so, so glad that I did.
I kept an open mind and I just looked at it. I'm so freaking glad I did because it changed what I was going to go in life. Now, the first thing is, it is a place called, well, if you go under my channel and you go to channels that I've subscribed to, you're going to find two channels, Minority Mindset, which is a financial educational channel. And we also have a new one that was worked for um, Minority Mindset, AK, I think it's Fail. Fable, 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 and they talk a lot about money, how to use money, and how to use money correctly, how to get yourself out of debt, how to change who you, what you can do with your money, how you should spend your money, and how to build wealth, and one of their quotes, I think, they always put it every, every single video, is like, get it done, or like, start doing it. Because once you're gonna only live once, and if you're gonna want to live unhappy for so long at your job, like you can do that, but by the end of the day, you're gonna be telling others that you regret that decision so much, and you just you're gonna hate it. Like I've heard so many stories, I've heard so many things, and I even see it in some of my family. I can kind of see how it goes it's not really that pretty so um yeah i'll see you guys all next time and uh yeah have a good night and i'll see you later